It's the end of September and I wanted to run through a few of my favourite products of the month. I've decided just to do this vlog outside because I'm staying on a farm in Norwich where I'm doing my play and it's a little bit dark inside so it is spitting with rain just a tiny bit so I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can. The first product I wanted to mention this month is the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. These are £18 which is quite expensive but it does do two really good jobs and there's loads in there so it will last ages and ages. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I had their powder pink colour which is number six and this is number 11, the pale pink. Um, and this is just great because you can carry it around and it does two things. So you can just apply it to the cheek with your fingers or you could use a brush, like a soft brush like that, just blend it in, um, just catch the apple of the cheek with it. Um, so it's just one of the products that I just really, really, really have wanted for a while. Um, 18 pounds and they have 10 different shades. Um, the next product I wanted to mention this month are the Lush solid toothpaste, um, to solid toothpaste tabs, and these are called Toothy Tabs, and I got the flavour Choo Choo I Love You. The reason I picked this flavour, which actually had I not fallen in love with the Rose Argan body conditioner, which is a rose scented, it's their rose jam scent, um, had I not already fallen in love with that, I probably would have picked a more minty flavour, but this is the rose flavour, and I just wanted to smell as good as the body conditioner, and these smell kind of rosy, really sweet. They're made with baking soda and essential oils. So the essential oils freshen your breath and the baking soda clean your teeth. Um, and you just take a tab out of the packet and the packaging's really good for the environment too, which Lush Makeup on it's saying. And you place it between your teeth and you crunch it up and then you begin to brush like normal with water, just a normal toothbrush and just water. And they foam up just like normal toothpaste would. And they're really refreshing. They're a little bit strange to get used to, but they also say it's the right dosage. So um, rather than judging, are you using enough toothpaste or too little toothpaste, you always get the right amount with one of the toothy tabs. Um, I really like them. So I've got them at work at the moment too. Choo choo, I love you. I also use normal toothpaste from time to time, but um, I really am enjoying using these. They come in six or seven different flavours. There are some minty ones, um, there's the rose one. There was one that really didn't appeal to me. I can't remember what flavour that was, but Dirty is definitely the, um, the one that's most minty. And it's £2, and these £2.95, and then there is one that is £3.50. So they vary from £2 to £3.50 between all the different flavours. And that will depend price-wise on which essential oils are used, which ones are most expensive. Um, the next product I wanted to mention, an old favourite of mine, the packaging's a little bit battered, so excuse me for that. It is Dermalogica's Solar Defence Booster. And I love this because I'm trying out loads of moisturisers at the moment that don't have any SPF in, and I like to wear SPF every day. And the Solar Booster, you can either use directly onto the skin, or you can mix in with a moisturiser and apply that way, or you can apply over your moisturiser. So it's just a really handy bottle that is in my handbag all the time at the moment, and if I've been for a facial and maybe the, the, the place I've gone for a facial don't have a um, moisturiser with SPF, I don't want to go around all day without wearing any, so I'll just add it in, or if I've been to the gym or swimming, I'll just mix it in with the moisturiser and put it on. And I've been running a little bit this week in Norwich, and again, I've wanted to make sure I was wearing some protection factor. Even when the weather's a bit cloudy and you feel that you don't need any, it is more, more than likely that um, you're not realising how many UVA rays are getting to us. So. It's really handy just to have one. This lasts ages and ages. You only need the, the tiniest bits, just a little white thin mixture that mixes in really well with whichever moisturiser you're using. The next product that I wanted to mention today is the eyeshadow that I'm wearing, which is a smoky mauve, as described by Art Deco. Um, I have put this into an Art Deco palette. Um, these are magnetic clip-in palettes, and it's this one here in the palette, this smoky mauve. It doesn't look as dark on there as it does in real life. It, it looks like a, a matte brownie mauvey colour and I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty on the eye and it's a great colour for autumn. Um, they are six pounds, the individual shadows. And I actually really love this palette too that you can clip in. I've got a highlighter here, a blusher, and three eyeshadows in the palette and you can just clip them in. Um, but they also just come in a regular, um, a regular eyeshadow clip on top so um, you don't need to buy a whole set, you can just buy one shade. They've got some really lovely eyeshadows in that collection. Um, I'm really liking the Art Deco makeup at the moment. 
The next product that I want to mention, I'm wearing on my eyebrows today, and this is Anastasia's Tinted Brow Gel. I'm wearing this in espresso. It comes in six different shades. This is £16.50, and it's an eyebrow mascara, so similar to the perfect one that I've mentioned before. And it just gives a little bit more of a perfect brow than a pencil does. Um, you have to be a bit braver with an eyebrow mascara. I remember when I first used one years ago, I really didn't get on with it. But these days, I really, really like them. I think they've come on quite a lot since then. You can put it into your eyebrow and then you can blend it in with a brush. And it just gives that kind of really thick looking brow. And I don't mean thick as in the width of your eyebrow. I mean thick as in dense and strong. And whatever shade your eyebrow is, you'll find a shade that you can blend in. The only Anastasia product that I've really used over the years are the eyebrow pencils, and it's only recently I've been trying out a few more things in the range. Um, they have a shop in Beverly Hills, and it's always been stocked in Sephora, but it's only recently that I, anyway, have found a way to buy it in the UK, which is on Cult Beauty. Um, before then, it was just kind of, I'd pick up a piece every time I went to America. So I'm really glad Cult Beauty have got Anastasia, because she is kind of the eyebrow expert of America, the same way Shivata is for the UK. This is the fragrance that I've been using at work over the last month. It is Clarins Eau de Namazant. And I absolutely love this fragrance. I've got a bigger one at home. This is one of the individual, not for sale items that I got when I bought two Clarins items recently. Um, you can splash this all over your body when you get out of the shower. It's perfect before exercise. If you maybe don't wear deodorant because you're trying to be more natural, this is a great way to keep fresh in that way too. And it's also a really fabulous perfume. I've noticed when I'm wearing this at work that everybody comments everybody. It's a really fresh smell. Um, it's got lemon, patchouli, rosemary in it and it also tones the skin. So Clarence call it a treatment fragrance. It's really hard to talk about a fragrance on here because it is a personal personal tasting but all I know is people respond really well when I'm wearing this and I absolutely love wearing it. It's incredibly fresh. I'm going to mention today um, the MAC Lipstick Angel, which is very, very popular. I don't usually wear such a pale lipstick, but I have been wearing this on stage at work. It's not particularly strong enough to wear on stage, really, but I really like it. Um, and I line my lips with MAC's Boldly Bare, which is just a, a very pale kind of nude, nude colour. I'll draw a little on my hand. Um, and it's, it's just an easy lip liner to put with anything. And this is Angel on my hand. It's just like a soft pink. Um, but just really easy to wear and very different for me. I usually wear a brighter or a stronger shade if I'm wearing lipstick. So it's nice to, um, to wear a lipstick that's a little bit paler, something that's a little bit different. Um, and the last thing I wanted to mention today is a man's eye roll-on. This L'Oreal Hydra Energetic Roll-On. It's really cooling on the eye and I just roll inwards to outwards with that in the mornings if my eyes feel a bit puffy or tired um, and it kind of just firms the area. I don't mention enough men's products and I actually do use quite a lot of them. Um, I do think, I do think, you know, there are great products out there for men now and there's no actual reason why some products are for men and some products are for women. Obviously after shaving and things like that, men do have um, different skincare needs sometimes, but in terms of this, to keep the eyes awake, man or woman can use this product. The packaging obviously isn't as pretty as some of the, uh, of the products that are out there for, on the women's market, but um, it's a really great roll-on. Clarins also have um, an under-eye man, man's eye cream gel that really brightens and firms the eye that I'm, I'm a big fan of as well, so I do like some of the men's eye products. So those are my products of September. Um, I've got a feeling by the end of next month I'm not going to be able to do many outdoor video blogs. Not that I've done any before, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do any because I think the weather is beginning to turn and I'm going to get out of the rain now and get back inside. But I hope you have a lovely month, have a lovely October and I'll do another video soon.